So it's update time. Uh, Yugo still here. I'm sure at least two of you might be happy to hear that it hasn't been belted down and turned into a Kia yet. I have actually been working on it here and there. Uh, there's been some improvements made. Uh, the biggest news with it is that it actually got driven uh, more than just in my garage. This happened a while ago. I just never uploaded the video. I don't know why, but it just never happened. So we'll cut to that now. Maybe I'll do a voiceover. Maybe I won't, but here it is. Okay, so first is useless completely. Like it just goes one mile an hour and just vibrates. Second is okay. It seems like third is like the the good gear, like kind of like the all gear, like you just stay in third. I don't think I'll have the power to move fourth. But here, I'll put it in third. Well, I'll put it in second first. Come on. Second. There we go. God. That's second. Wait for the vibration to miss.
gonna hold on with this. <laughs> I'm so happy that I, I bought a communist car. Second, like an act, I don't know, like, kind of moves like okay. Nope, and there goes the door. The door. Okay, so let's do a, a second, third, there we go. Yeah. 
engine survived. I realized too when I was driving it, I have no way to park this. What do you mean? There's, there's no clutch, like I can't put it in gear. Ah. Oh. Cause I, oh, that is a fucking move. Oh wait. It's probably really bold, so it's probably not gonna undo, but. It actually feels like it has an e-brake. It's probably handy. Might be. Maybe it was that fourth gear attempt. It didn't really seem to like fourth gear at all. But, I don't know. I think all things considered, if that's the worst that happened. I mean, it actually, shreddy. it moves better than I thought it would, but it also vibrates like a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, the choke was still on that whole time, crap. We're giving up some power. I mean, this is probably the reason why the carbon oxide's so bad, because that's the blower motor. Yeah. Which, although it isn't, you know, on, it's probably just ejecting the exhaust like right into our faces when we drive it. Probably. I was gonna cover that up, but I never got around to it. Well, that's that. What are your feelings on it? It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Not at all. It drove. It was. Surprisingly smoother than anticipated, all things considered. It's weird it's smoother like once you floor it. Yes, definitely. Like an idle is terrible and then you just floor it and somehow it smooths out and that makes no sense. Because you would think the faster that thing spins, the worse the vibration would get, but I guess not. Maybe it reaches like a sweet spot with the harmonics or something. Maybe. Well, there we go. It survived one trip. Road, road ready. Yeah, sure. That's good. Now, as you may or may not have seen in the video, there was a few issues. So, first problem is that a whole lot of carbon oxide went in the car because of the intake for the blower motor, which I still have to cover up, and then because the exhaust dumped right under the hood, like there. So what I've done since then is I've actually I bought a like Amazon header, which is just the piece there and I wrapped it. And then I actually connected it to the full exhaust system of the car. So now all the exhaust goes out the back. I use as much of the factory Yugo exhaust as I had left. And then the other issue, well there's many issues, uh, the thing was pretty down on power even for what it was. Uh, definitely running lean. So I got the old uh, stage one kit which is just like an air filter and a jet combined with the header. So it has a bigger jet now, it has that air filter, has this cold air intake as a complete joke on it. And then also I started relocating the fuel tank. i um, not really sure I'm gonna put it yet. I would like up there, but I'm kinda just, right now I'm working on this kinda trying a few locations here. Uh, the biggest issue of all is that my freaking magic shaft there is not straight enough. Uh, it shakes much worse than I even expected it to. So aside from all these other fast improvements, I need to make a new one of them or else this thing's just gonna shake itself to pieces. Uh, good news is, is that I kind of have a lathe. So maybe I can try making that new or try fixing it or having someone that knows what they're doing make it maybe, I, I don't know. But that's where we are with that. Uh, I try getting the wiring working and you put power to it. I hooked it, I have the starter there. And what happens is nothing works. And it's funny because like there's no power going to things. 
So then you'll jump things. So like I jump the headlights, turn them on, and then the switch. And then after doing that, with the headlight switch unplugged, the headlights stay on without even a switch plugged in and like without the fuse in it and stuff. So this car has some A plus wiring design in it or something. So I have to uh, get the lights working at least somewhat. I think I said before, I'm gonna put all LEDs in it so there's a low amp draw because the uh, charging system in that is like three amps or something. It's not very powerful. I don't feel like putting an alternator on it or the upgrade. So we're just gonna roll with uh, very little accessories. So that's where I am at with the Yugo. Uh, like I said, I've been kind of working on it here and there. There's a lot of a lot of stuff going on right now, but I at least wanted to get out that footage I took of it running a while ago. It was actually like a few months ago, but whoops. But now you see that the thing actually moves. I just have to figure out, like I said, mainly that vibration issue is the biggest, biggest problem I'd say right now, keeping this thing off the road and that in common sense, but we ignore that. And then as always, because I forget to do this, uh, if you like this kind of exciting content, remember to like and subscribe. There's a like button somewhere, there's a subscribe button over there, or if, if you click it, you'll probably unsubscribe if you're already subscribed. It's a fun game. But anyway, see you next time.